Hey guys, and welcome to another episode tutorial of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be talking about balance. Uh, balance between the frequencies in your mix. You want your low frequencies to be sort of balanced to your mid and high level frequencies before sending your song out to master and completing your mix. So, um, what I have here is a song. Uh, that I've used in another tutorial. It's by Jordan Clear. The song is called Messed Up. A uh, link to that will be in the description. Um, so here I've lined myself at the hook of the song. Uh, that's the loudest part of the song. So that's where you want to go for this uh, tutorial. The loudest part of your song. I'll play a little bit of it for you. Messed up. Okay, so that's the hook of the song. Um, that's pretty much how it goes. So now, <clears throat> one of the first things you want to do, you see here, I've opened a multi uh, meter. <clears throat> and this is a stock plugin, of course, that comes with Logic Pro. Um, and you get to it by going into your plugin section, go down to metering, then over to multimeter. Boom. And there it is. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to add this to your output track. Okay. And you're going to add that and you want a regular EQ. Now you can see I've already made some adjustments here on my EQ just to you know, do some things, brighten it up a little bit. Um, but sometimes when you apply an EQ, you just don't get that even balance you're looking for. So I had that issue with this track. And so I pulled up the multimeter and you see several things when you open it. Okay, over here on the far left, you've got your left, right, LR Max and Mono. I usually go with the LR Max just to get that stereo sound. Uh, mode, I usually put that to slow. Um, and as you go down, peak, I put that on hold just so I could see the levels traced out. Okay, so you want to open that up and you want to open the EQ. Also, another thing to keep in mind, on your stereo levels, when you're completing a mix, you don't want nothing in the red zone, nothing uh, shooting above nominal here, which is zero. Nothing up there. You want to keep everything in your mix in the yellow-green region. Over here, correlation, you want to make sure that the frequencies don't crash and you get cancellation. So you want to make sure that your, your level over here is just floating around this positive one area you don't want it to shoot over here in the negative because then you've got some issues in your mix so those are things to keep in mind now as I play the hook of the song just look at how the meters are traced out so we're gonna play the hook So now that we've got it traced out, we see good news over here. Nothing's hot or in the red. Uh, we see our correlation meter showing a good amount here. So we don't have to worry about any phase issues. Now, when we come here, this is where things start to get a little interesting. Um, here we can see that it's boosted up a bit here. Then it dips over here around 2000. And then it boosts back up over here. So it's a lot of, it's, it's a lumpy right and we want to make this as even or straight as possible to get a nice even mix so the way to do this <clears throat> is to pull up your eq and work on those frequencies so over here by 2000 all right um we can look at this and as we go up we'll see okay so we'll, we'll go over see it's 2000 this is where it's coming down at right here so i'll go to 2000 on my eq this is that all right so let's, let's type in 2000 here boom all right now 
here we want to boost up a little bit just to move that meter so let's see take it at 3 dB reset play it again Okay, so now upon playing, we see that it moved up a little bit. So now we've got a lot of evenness going across here. This seems to be the issue. So now around 4,000 uh, is where it starts to, around 4,000 hertz is where it starts to, to get too much. So what I'm going to do is pull back on it because here I have it boosted at 3.5. So I'm going to pull back on that. Um, put that at 2 and then I'm also going to mess with the Q over here uh, near the 2000 that we just adjusted and pull it in just a tad bit All right. so now let's, let's reset play it again Okay, so you can see we pulled down a little bit, and it's still it's still a bit high. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I could choose to pull this down more in volume, or I could choose to uh, bring this up more. Me personally, when it comes to mixing, I say lower better. So I'll try pushing this volume down a few more dBs to try to make it even here. Uh, keep this line straight. So let's. Make another adjustment here. Let's try to bring it down. Let's bring it down another, another dB. All right, reset. Now here we can see it's still kind of high, but it, it if I go down anymore, I'm going to lose that clarity that I'm looking for. So I want to keep that right where it is. Um, and as a, as a mix engineer, you have to go according to how your ears are telling you things sound. You know, you also want to go according to a feeling. So <clears throat> it's not always going to be up to the meters. It's also based upon how you feel about the track. So remember that it's always about good hearing and good listening and just making it sound good. Sometimes we get too caught up in technicals. All right, here um, I can see that it dips dramatically by 250. So we want to give it a little bump by 250, uh, 250 to 300 region. So let's go there and give it a little boost. And then move it in beneath the 500 mark. Actually, we could get a little bit of that 500 mark. <laughs> All right. Reset. Play again. that a lot so definitely a lot more balance going on since the first time we played over here is where it's getting a bit too much by this 500 Hertz mark so let's get over there <clears throat> by the 500 Hertz mark I'm gonna take this one and move it, uh, move it over 500 Hertz and let's turn that down a little bit so that down 
because it's pretty high up there, so we're going to bring it down a lot. I usually start by bringing things down by three decibels. So, play it again. So as you can see here, the meters are more balanced. We don't have as much of a, a dip and a wave as we was having in the beginning. And that's kind of what you want to do. I mean, you can sit here and play around with this, you know, on your mix for time and time. But I just wanted to show you how to get that balance when it comes to completing a mix. You want to make sure your frequency levels are balanced and nice. So that way there you have something clean. And, you know, nice and even, the bass is not sounding too overpowering or the treble is not crackling. You, you want to make sure everything is nice and balanced and even. So that way when you send it for master, you have no problems. So that's basically how you will use your EQ and multimeter to get a nice balanced mix. And this is stock plugins in Logic, so there shouldn't be a problem. Alright guys, until next time.